Hello everyone and welcome back. This is AC taking you through Divinity Original Sin. So just on the way out from where we just were, you know we had this battle here where we saved the people and went down there, got Leandra's blood. On the way back out, we didn't go here did we? And there's a woman here. Shall we talk to her, the librarian? Welcome visitor to this humble library. May the goddess guide thee in thy search for knowledge. The library seems very, very old. Why yes, this church is more than a house of worship. It has long been a bastion of the collective knowledge of all of Rivalon, a home for spirit and for learning. Even the good King Brachus in his better days would bless these halls with frequent visits. As I recall, his favourite tomes were those devoted to ancient goblin magic. Though, between us, he also occasionally requests, in somewhat bashful tones, the latest steamy romance. <laughs> I say, a humble king is such a blessing in these troubled times. So you knew King Baracus? Well, I'd be remiss to fancy myself an acquaintance of the good king, but I serve him as best I can, indeed. Have you news of his condition, by the by? It's been so very long since I've heard word. Oh, poor king is so beset by troubles. It seems the goddess has sought fit to test him most thoroughly. But our good goddess delivers blessings alongside every trial. She is destined, Brachus, to face countless troubles. But she gave him a beloved sister to bring him through each one. Cassandra, a dear young woman, I can think of no finer right hand for our king. They're forged by the very souls you know, tied for all time. You seem untroubled by the goings-on downstairs. Well, I have my duties to attend to, haven't I? As long as the hubbub stays out of the library, I'm content. Hardly a day goes by that there isn't a fine ruckus down there, though. Madam, King Baracus has been dead for many centuries. Nonsense. He's only a bit ill, of course. And what with the goddess's foes gaining ground, it's no wonder he's touched by my disturbances. And I'll not hear anything to the contrary. The priest here disappeared beneath an altar. Do you know how I might follow him? Well, we've already done that. <laughs> oh, that great heavy thing sets the place in tremors. I always see them fiddling about down there, making it heave back and forth. But if you're asking me exactly how, I can't say. Have a look behind some pillars, maybe. They're always sneaking around behind the pillars, making a racket. Oh, we can buy some things here. How's that? Oh, I might keep what I've got. Immunity to fear seems better. And this is for Rodrigue. Um, yeah, I'll keep what I've got. Oh nice, I wanted this one, so we got this for free, it's a Master Man at Arms book. I wonder if she can learn that now, Madora. So let's get out of here. So guys, I just teleported back here to Sacred Stone. We was over here inside the building and just teleported over here. So what we could do is I I could show you about Jared while we're here. It's the end of Bardotor's um, story, but 
I don't know. I don't know how well we responded during. Well, we can identify. Yeah, every time we've had a conversation with Bardotto, you have to have a. Depending on how you reply, yeah, it changes the outcome inside this cave here. So, I just want to show you guys what uh, happens. And if we end up losing Bardotto, I'm just going to reload it because it's very, it's almost impossible I think to beat the fight if we lose her if we keep her I, maybe we just show the fight and she's heavy Let's see what happens. So this is the end of Bardotto's story. She had been looking for this guy, Jareth. daughter can it be you well who else my dear girl look at you you survived Jared I knew I would find you here there was no prison in all the realm I would not enter to find you come we must go quickly the situation in home forest is dire Jared and these immaculates are nothing like those in the stories they are wicked we must leave before they find us here. Oh, bear daughter, I should have. Well, you see, I can't just run off. I'm home, and I've work to do here. So now we know how to pronounce her name, bear daughter. Work indeed. Just what is it you're up to among this carnage? Hello to you too. I almost hadn't noticed you there. And uh, who is this, bear daughter? A uh, friend? of yours the source hunter has helped me come far Jarrett. i have seen so many things but there is time enough to discuss all once we return home we must go Jarrett, before the followers of attenborough find us as i said bear daughter i am not leaving home forest is gone you know that don't you by now rot will have infected every living thing within five miles of the cabin it's a wonder you yourself didn't succumb you needn't entertain these foolish thoughts of returning there, least of all with me. I am among my kind now, the Immaculates. What exactly did you think I was studying all these years, girl? More stories to read to my illiterate servant by night? It was you then, you who unleashed rot upon the century uh, creatures of Home Forest? Well, to be fair, it was hardly intentional. I was experimenting with Tenebrium, trying to distill its powers into a potion when I produced an aerosol that spread like an infection. I myself had already taken the proper prophylactic measures, but it's no surprise that the creatures of the forest weren't so lucky. And you, dear bear daughter, how curious that you were unaffected. Yes, curious indeed. I've never heard of a natural immunity to rot. What a useful quality. Jared, no. No. I don't understand. Bear daughter, this Jareth is not who you thought he was. He left you to die of rot. He's an immaculate. 
as dark as any we've seen. That cannot be. Jared, please tell me this is not true. We are a pair. We found each other. All that is human in me has come from you. Dear girl, these source hunters understand little of what they speak. The Immaculate Way is complex as life itself. Some must suffer so that others may live. So that the best may live. But you grew to serve me well. And in turn, I furthered the Immaculate Cause in both our names. I could not have done it without you, Bear Daughter. You were essential. And now... Now it can be as it was before. Together, Bear Daughter, together again, we will serve the cause of the Goddess and her righteous plans. You in service to me, and I in service of the One Way. As before. Don't you remember how happy we were? Don't listen to this snake, Bayodoto. You aren't meant to serve anyone. Jarrett has been more than a mentor to me, Source Hunter. He has shown me the poetry of life itself. Yes, I have served him. And in return, he has served me the names of the colors and the creatures I call my family. Without him, I would have no past. I would have no name. I think we might have uh, lost her. And you, Source Hunters, you yourselves have shown me time and time again the virtue of obedience. You have lain before me a world more wild than Home Forest. A world more dangerous and fearsome than any my imagination could have dreamt. That's right, dear girl. But you've returned to me. Me, who has always protected you. Me, who has sought to right this wicked world through the Goddess Way. Don't you see? Jarrett is right, my friends. Everything he has told me has come true. Perhaps you don't understand his methods, but I am certain he only acts for the greater good. Yes, my child. Your friends are enemies to the Goddess Way. They'd stamp out her great plans with an iron fist and a bloody sword. They have delivered you to me, and now their purpose is served. Yes, Jarrett. Sorry, my friends. So there you go, if you don't answer correctly, you lose Bardotto and she will attack us now. And this fight is not very easy at all. Let's give it a small try. I'm sure we'll die pretty quick though. And then I'll just reload. I think I think you can come in here without Bear Dotto and deal with this guy anyway. Let's see what we can do. Too many options. I think it's good to spread out though. Poison took the invisible away, unfortunately. What level is he anyway? 15? See what we can do here. We charge through. Well, 
Rodrigue's taking a beating as always. That's the end of that. So there you go guys, that's what happens. Yeah, I don't remember the, the replies for my daughter's story. If you do it correctly, she stays with you and we just kill him. To drown Soaked my sorrows with ale. Ah, much better. <laughs> I just know my sorrows will be burned through the competition. And get those happy fists a blazing and Oops. take it down in a matter of minutes. Oaks are strong, they but they're slow as well as oaks. Oh, why do I care about so I think later on I'm going to come back here and just wipe this town out. Let's check the shop. Nothing too great at the moment. I have been selling all the stuff we've been picking up. It hasn't really been too useful. And uh, now I've got 49,000 gold. Who's this? Roderick? Why is this? Normally you can check each other's equipment. <laughs> oh, he is wearing that, okay. Yeah, I might buy that for a drink. Let's get some of these. So I think worse, my brothers. we should go back now. I'm sorry I think we're good enough level now to do this spider area. So I'll make this a short video and then we'll get on with the spiders across the other side. I'll meet you over there. Now, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying, hit the like button and subscribe to help the channel grow. But until next time, take care.